that is an absolutely beautiful view, isn't it? Look at turquoise waters, white sand, blue skies. Oh, man, there is nothing more beautiful. Well, almost nothing. So it was 18 years ago to the date. Well, today's August 14th, and it was October 13th, and I was standing right here at this very same spot on a beautiful day. But I wasn't here making videos. I was looking up, and not at my camera, but at my beautiful bride-to-be. It was my wedding day, and we got married right here in Juno Beach. Hey, everybody. I'm Paul Meaches Paul, and welcome back to my channel. So it was an absolutely beautiful day just like this on that October 13th in 2002. I love you, honey. <laughs> and um, the beach was beautiful, the weather was beautiful, and uh, it was actually windy just like this. And we were fortunate because we were able to use the Juno Beach Civic Center thanks to our friends. And um, we had all our family and friends here. It was just a magical day and uh, it couldn't have gone off any better. So Juno Beach is one of those small towns here in Jupiter and today I'm going to be showing you Jupiter Beach and a little bit about Juno Beach. They're side by side but um, they're uh, two of my favorite places and the beaches are fantastic. Um, if you love outdoors this is definitely the area for you. Uh, people up here boat, they fish, they dive, they kayak, you name it. If it's on the water people are doing it here in Juno and Jupiter. So what I'm going to do today is show you a couple of my favorite things about Jupiter Beach and then there's so much to do up here I'll come back and make some more videos and uh, maybe show you some different neighborhoods and we'll talk about the cost of living and cost of homes but what I want to do for today is just give you a taste of what Juno and Jupiter is like so we're going to check out a historic lighthouse the Jupiter Beach Lighthouse really just amazing uh, place and then uh, we'll take a look at Dubois Park a really fun place to go to it's a park right on the uh, in the inlet. So you can see all the boats go by and there's a great place for kids and everybody. We've had some uh, picnics up there with our family. And then I'm going to try, if I can, go to the, uh, the uh, Loggerhead Turtle Center, which is a really amazing place where they rescue sea turtles. So, but uh, it's a great Friday here in Paradise and uh, let's get started. No one has yet discovered Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth, worse luck, but happy pensioners flock to Florida annually by the train and carlo. Here they settle down happily to a life of leisure, hobbies, and gentle sports. Florida, they claim, is the next best thing to complete rejuvenation. So 34 steps, then once you get in the lighthouse, there's 105 steps, and there's three landings. Now there's a storm approaching, and they said they're going to try and get me all the way up to the top. I better start walking quick, because once lightning strikes, unfortunately, I'm out of luck. All right, here we go, 105 steps. Let's see if we can make it.
on top of the Jupiter Lighthouse, and as promised, the view is spectacular. It is one of my favorite views in all of Palm Beach County. Um, really cool lighthouse. It's been here since 1860, and I was just hearing the uh, lady say that there was only a short time when it didn't um, light up the uh, pathway for all the boats and everything. That was uh, during, uh, during the Confederate War. Uh, someone had stole the light. So I think there was about a year and a half period that they hid the light, but uh, they found it and put it back in. So what's really cool about it is it has what's called a Fresno lens, and although there are other Fresno lenses probably in museums, there's only a few that actually have the Fresno lens um, still being used, and this is one of those lighthouses. Anyway, we're going to go downstairs and we'll get somewhere uh, we'll look around the grounds. It's a really pretty place. It was $12 to get in and uh, limited hours because of COVID. But uh, anyway, I'll show you the Fresno lens and then go downstairs. All right. So that's the Fresno lens right there. Amazing. And then here's the mechanism. And it turns it. I'm going to get my things and follow you down. <laughs> and the lighthouse is closed. Yep. All right, so we're closing down. She just closed the door. We've got to go back down the 105 steps. It'll be a lot easier going down than it was coming up. The lighthouse is how tall? It's 108 feet tall on top of a 48 foot mound. So it's 108 feet tall on top of a 40 foot mound. So um, it's a beautiful lighthouse. They do a great job taking care of it. I highly recommend you come here and see it. And we're going back downstairs. Bye-bye, Lighthouse. All right, well, I know that was a quick tour of the Lighthouse. Um, you know, they're dealing with COVID right now, as we all are, but also the lightning. Um, for safety reasons, they have to shut everything down. There's some other really cool stuff back there. You can see it's a building that has a lot of history about the families who lived here and how they built the Lighthouse and all that stuff. So, but unfortunately, uh, I do have to get out of this area. But, um, and they have a museum here that again, it's typically it's open and you can go inside and they have interactive uh, stuff and lots of learning. It's really great for kids, but for anybody who loves history. Um, and uh, it's just one of uh, my favorite, I guess, things here in South Florida. I like lighthouses to begin with and uh, this one's really beautiful. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna go check out some more parts of uh, Jupiter here. And uh, I got a, another little, um, park that I want to show you just on the other side of the inlet and uh, we're gonna head over there right now. Man, is it hot out. Whew. Well, I am sitting in the shade here at the Dubois house, and the Dubois house is right here in Dubois Park. This is another great place to come and check out here in the uh, town of Jupiter. I'm literally five minutes away from the lighthouse. I basically drove over the bridge, over the intercoastal, and came down a few roads and right into Dubois Park. Now this park, like a lot of the parks that I've told you in my videos, does fill up pretty quick, um, especially during the cooler months when everybody wants to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Um, there's lots of parking, but you do need to get here pretty early because I've seen it where we've had to wait 30 minutes to find a parking space. And uh, so it does fill up because it's very popular, especially with uh, families with small children because of that little river area. But there's lots to do. As I said, you can walk around and uh, you can walk out to the jetty and do some fishing. Uh, I've done that a lot with my kids. We'd come here, hang out, let mama relax, and then we'd walk down all the way to the uh, end of the um, 
inlet, watch all the cool boats go by, which is great, and uh, do some fishing down on the jetty, and then there's a beach right there as well that you can go hang out, so it's really uh, just a real pretty place and, and a very popular spot here in Jupiter, Florida. All right, so if you look right back there, that's the Jupiter Lighthouse where I was earlier. So you can see that we just came across the intercoastal and we're over here in New Boys Park. And then behind me, you can see all the boats that are coming in and you can hear the thunder. So a lot of the boaters are probably heading in it's about to get really ugly offshore. And Jupiter is just one of those places where if you love the outdoors, this is definitely the place for you. There's uh, all the boating, the beaches are some of the best beaches around. And then you got all these little parks and there's lots of outdoor activities to see and do. And uh, it's just really a fantastic place. Do Voice is a free park. So you can come here, um, find a place to park. They have uh, grills if you want to bring some food and barbecue. Matter of fact, I just walked by some and it's not really good. And uh, there's lots of uh, shade if you want to get out of the sun for a little bit. And then they got some pavilions that you can actually, uh, well, when it's not COVID, they have some pavilions that you can uh, reserve for parties and birthday parties and stuff. But uh, beautiful park, highly recommend it. I'll be sure to put a link down below so you can come check it out for yourself. Um, it's getting really hot out and it's gonna start storming. So I got one last place I wanna show you. There's so many things to show you here in the town of Jupiter that obviously I can't fit it all into one video. But if the one place is open, and I hope it is, it's really spectacular and we're gonna head there right now. So we made it to my last stop for the day and they're open till five, which uh, that's great because it's hot out and it's probably gonna start pouring so I can get out of the rain for a little bit. But uh, where we're at now is probably one of the coolest places I've ever been to in uh, South Florida. And it is called the Loggerhead Marine Life Center for sea turtles. It's been a few years since I've been here, but uh, apparently they're doing really well with donations because they have the full big area back here that's uh, the expansion that's going on. So I'm not sure when they're gonna be completed with that, but um, this place is truly magical. And they have uh, a really fun event up here called Turtle Fest and uh, they have musicians and music. And this place is all about saving sea turtles. So um, I'm gonna go inside, give them a small donation, and then look around and show you the inside of this place. And uh, we're gonna go uh, have a really good time. So let's go. So that was pretty spectacular, wasn't it? I was just told that in February of 2021, when they're completed with all the uh, construction, they will be the largest marine uh, turtle center in the country. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, something to look forward to. And what's even more cool is it's free to get in, but you should do a donation. That's what I did, everybody. There's a donation box, and that's obviously how they keep this place running, by donations. And then they have a really big event called um, Turtle Fest. And, uh, you know, again, pre-COVID, that was a spectacular event where we've had, uh, they have bands up here playing all, all day long. And we actually had an artist play here one time that was one of the uh, country singers on American Idol. Um, and then uh, they have food and crafts and just, it's just a fun event. And they're, we're right here on A1A and just steps from the beach. So that makes it uh, really cool and convenient because you can come here and you can enjoy it. 
maybe go to the beach, have a swim, play for a little bit, rinse off, go back into the Turtle Center. And um, I think it's really cool that they're going to be the largest one in the country uh, come February 2021. So another really cool thing that they do here is the educational classes and the summer camp for the kids. Um, they obviously have a summer camp, uh, I don't know right now with the COVID, but they typically have a summer camp that kids can come to and they learn all about sea life and taking care of the turtles. But they also have this really neat thing where my son got to do it one time uh, during the Turtle Fest where you go in and they kind of give you like a, a, your own, it's a stuffed turtle. And they give you a turtle and they go through the whole thing of like prepping it for an operation and uh, cleaning the wound, giving it antibiotics, which was cool because they gave a little tin can of uh, jelly beans and you're supposed to feed that to the turtle. And you take the turtle home, they put a bandage on it and everything. And it was really pretty neat. That's, you know, when he was younger. But uh, so they, they're trying to educate the kids to be aware of these beautiful creatures so we can make sure they're here for generations to come. So I really love that about the place. Oh, you're beautiful. Wow. So cool. So as I was getting ready to leave, I saw they have this really cool nature trail and I've never been on it. So I decided to go take a walk and uh, check it out. And it's really cool it just kind of goes back into a scrub area and uh winds its way back down there a little bit saw some really cool uh two cardinals um that flew by which is really kind of neat so uh but uh very pretty so you know when you get done with all the sea turtles you can come back here and go on a nice little nature trail all right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video of Juno Beach and Jupiter Beach. Again, I just showed you a couple of my favorite things, the uh, lighthouse and uh, Dubois Park. There's so much to do here. There's so many things to get out and do, just like this nature trail. They have these all over the place. So, uh, you know, if you're an outdoors kind of person, this may be the right uh, place for you to uh, vacation or move. And uh, all you have to do is reach out to me, and I'll be happy to get some information. But uh, anyway... I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to click on the links and watch all my other videos. And as always, when you're in the Palm Beaches, get out and enjoy paradise. All right, I'll talk to you real soon. Now that looks relaxing. Just chilling in the water with the waterfall falling right on your head. This, this turtle's got the right idea. All right, you know what? This water looks too inviting and too blue for me to pass up, so we'll get to the lighthouse uh, in just a few minutes. First, I gotta take a swim.